Hey guys, Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics. And if you're seeing this, you may have just lost a permanent tooth. It may have fully come out or partially come out. And I wanna guide you through the three steps you should do to make sure you can actually keep that tooth later. I'm gonna go through the three steps real quick because if you're seeing this, this may be an emergency and then I'll explain later if you need some more information. All right, so step number one, if the tooth is fully out, make sure to grab it by its crown portion and that is the portion that you see, not the root portion. So make sure you grab it by the crown. That is the first thing, do not grab it by the roots. So step number two is you have that tooth by the crown portion. You wanna very, very, very lightly rinse it off, not too hard. You want to lightly rinse it off because you don't want to disturb the cells that are still in that tooth. And if possible, if you can still put the tooth back into where it came out, that would be your best option. So if you can do that and the tooth is relatively clean, try to put it back in. If you cannot do that, you may want to find some whole milk or just normal type milk to put the tooth in. Or if you feel brave, you can put the tooth in the vestibule or in the side portion of your mouth in your cheeks. But this is disclaimer, make sure not to swallow swallow the tooth. That is obvious, but do not swallow the tooth. So if you can put it back in, cool. If you can't put it back in, either put it in your cheek or some saline solution or some milk, but do not put it in water. Final step is go see your dentist as soon as possible. Time is your absolute enemy with this. So the quicker you can get into your dentist, the better. If this happens in the middle of the night, maybe you can find a 24 hour clinic. Most of the time, medical clinics don't really have a dentist on staff, but either way, you're trying to get into a dentist as soon as absolutely possible. All right, so I explained to you what you should do, the three steps you should do if the tooth has fully come out. So let me go into a little bit more detail now that you have all the information you need. If you just need to stop this and go to your dental office or rinse it off or whatever you need to do, that's cool. But this is gonna give you more information on why we're doing what we're doing. So step number one, why are we grabbing it by the crown? The portion that you can see and not the root. This is the reason, because you have a lot of cells or ligaments on the root portion of your tooth. So when the tooth fully comes out, there's all these live cells, these ligaments that normally attach to your jaw, your top jaw or bottom jaw, or wherever the tooth is coming from. So if you grab the tooth by the roots, you're going to damage those cells. The whole name of the game here, everything we're trying to do is trying to keep those cells alive on the tooth. If you keep them alive and, and keep the ligaments somewhat healthy, you may be able to re-implant that either yourself, if you're brave enough and you can find a good way to put it in or the dentist may do that as well so if you keep the cells alive if you can't reimplant it you're going to go to the dentist as fast as you possibly can so why do we say as fast as you possibly can because as you probably guessed we're trying to keep those cells alive they can only stay alive for a certain amount of time so the quicker you can get to the dentist the better if you're waiting a few days yeah no chance it's not going to happen if you can get there within 30 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes that is going to give you your best shot at saving the tooth so let's say you get to the dentist within 15 20 30 minutes what are they going to do they're either they're going to see the tooth if you reimplanted it that's amazing if you did not they're going to grab the tooth from some saline solution or milk solution or from your cheek and they're going to try to put it back in the best they can they will likely also splint that tooth and what that is is they just take a piece of wire maybe it's orthodontic wire maybe some other wire that they have in the office and they're going to splint a few teeth together and this is a reason we're trying to have the least amount of pressure on that one specific tooth. We just want it to heal. So if you have a tooth and there's constant pressure on it, the tooth is moving, the cells are damaging each other, it's probably not gonna heal. If the tooth is out of occlusion, so you're not biting on it like crazy, then the tooth has a better chance of healing because it's nice and stable. So that is why they will splint the teeth and a lot of times they'll take it out of occlusion so you're not biting on that tooth. All right, so you got to the dental office, it's within 30 minutes, you reimplanted the tooth. They're like, hey, this looks like it's gonna work. What are the possible long-term consequences? Well, number one, what's likely gonna happen, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in the future at a certain point, and it can be a few weeks to a few years down the line, is that tooth may turn dark. So that may be the case with you. You may have seen some somebody whose tooth has turned dark, and most of the time that's due to trauma. So why is the tooth turning dark? I don't get it. Well, it's because you basically kind of sort of have a bruise on your tooth. So you damage the tooth, you damage the nerves, the blood vessels that are on the inner portion of the tooth, and they, they break open basically. It's like blood spurting out within the tooth, and it turns the whole thing dark. There is a way to fix that. The way you fix that is you get a root canal, or sometimes they'll do also internal bleaching to make that tooth look normal again. Sometimes if it's too 
bad, they will also have to put a crown on that tooth, but that will be at the discretion of your dentist. All right, Thrive Nation, now you know what to do if your full permanent tooth has come out of your mouth. Remember a little recap, try to put it back in if you can. If you cannot, get to your dental office as soon as humanly possible. Remember, don't fully, fully rinse it off. Don't like douse it in water because you don't want the cells to dry out. So either put in some saline solution, some milk solution, or within your cheeks. When you get to the dental office, they're going to try to put it in, They'll likely splint it, and that's probably it. They may give you some antibiotics or something else, but that's probably all they will do for that day. They may later on, they do a root canal, maybe some internal bleaching, and maybe a crown. But if you can save the tooth, that is so much better than having to get an implant or a partial or some other thing in that area. All right, so now you know all there is to know about a missing tooth, but we're not done yet. What if you have that missing tooth and you cannot replace it? The dentist can't put it back you probably want to know what you're going to have to do if you have a missing tooth. So I'm going to show you in this next video what your tooth replacement options are for missing teeth.